Pepper says, I'll be eating my breakfast as you're cleaning, Mommy, but I'll still be cheering you on. With Thanksgiving only a few weeks away, I wanted to get into this kitchen and give it a really good deep cleaning because this year I'm hosting Thanksgiving again. It's been since 2019 that we held it and I'm just so excited to have it at my house again. But we need to get into this kitchen now, early, give it a good deep clean. And yes, there's some dishes up here that need to be done, but that's okay. We're going to take care of all of this today. And we're going to be using the fly lady method to clean in this kitchen. And Peppy says, I'm ready to start when you are, mommy. So to get started, I went on fly lady's website so I can see exactly what deep cleaning the kitchen meant. And I see that that is considered zone two. Now, what I like about it is that you complete a zone during the week. It isn't all in one like shot or weekend because yeah, I need to pace myself here. And I'm very happy to see that number one is empty the fridge, clean thoroughly. Well, we already did that last week, so we're already ahead of the game, yay. <laughs> so for this video, we will be picking a few of these items to clean and check off our list. Now, as I get started, I feel like Fly Lady's number one thing is like cleaning the dishes and like having a clean, shiny sink. So that's the first thing we're going to do. We are going to get this cleaned up. So the first thing we're gonna do is put these clean dishes away. Now, it is just me here today because both boys are in school and hubby's sleeping because he's third shift. But I know that there's a little man who wants to be joining me on camera when he gets home. So that'll be a little later. And as we're cleaning together, I just wanted to share my heart with all of you. There was a time when cleaning was absolutely debilitating and scary to me. I didn't have any physical issues. It was all mental. In my past, for me to really deep clean and not just surface clean, it meant that I had to declutter through my hoard, which meant if I had to start decluttering, I could be triggered. The hoarding is what kept me safe in life since childhood, or at least that is the coping mechanisms that I had established since I was a child. Many of you know the traumas that I went through and the way that I deal with those emotions to feel safe, to regulate my nervous system, and to just be happy was to hoard and there was no limit to that hoarding it was whatever was making me feel good and comfortable and secure inside and if i wanted to do some deep cleaning well that meant i had to start decluttering my hoard first and that meant i had to start making decisions and that also led to being triggered and feeling unsafe and feeling anxious and feeling all the emotions that I had suppressed for my entire life. I had shoved all that trauma and experiences and emotions and shoved them into a mental box within my body deep down so that I never had to feel them again, but they came out. They never went away because I never processed it. So all those mental boxes became physical boxes in this world. The holding on to everything formed a sense of security, letting my nervous system know that, uh-oh, when we're stressed out, when we're scared, we're upset, what has always worked for our entire life, I know I'm going to hoard and hold on to it because my body was trying to protect myself from a mental breakdown or a panic attack or stress and my anxiety. It was how I regulated my body to be calm again. But I no longer live like that. I no longer live in the struggles of hoarding disorder because I have recovered immensely over the years. And a majority of that is thanks to you. Thank you so much because now I can get to this space, right? I'm, I'm actually loving this new caddy. It looks really good and I feel like it completes the sink a little bit and I feel, oh my gosh, am I actually organized? Yes, I am. And this sink is shining and I'm actually finally in a space where this can make me feel 
regulated, and in a calm spot. My life's purpose is to humanize hoarding disorders so everyone can understand it better. And I'm even happier to say that you can heal from it. I'm actually enjoying cleaning. This is actually a stress reliever for me, which this is definitely a new emotion for me. It took a lot of time to finally get to this point of enjoying it and feeling good about cleaning my home. And again, it is a thanks to all of you because you have been with me. And I think it's because you showed me compassion and love and empathy. And you took me to a space where I could finally feel like I was understood and I wasn't alone anymore in my disorder. It was my new safe space, my new self-regulation, because I was developing these relationships with all of you. And that's why I call you my YouTube family, because I feel like it's more than just a channel. We've really been with each other over the years, cheering each other on, being a good friend, getting to know each other, and just keeping each other encouraged. So that's why I feel like it's just so much more than that. And now we get to clean together, because finally, I'm recovering. <laughs> And circling back to the fly lady method for zone two, the kitchen, we have been checking off our list by wiping down the counters, the walls, the stove. Now we're gonna do the microwave. And this is my trick for the microwave is that I'll take a glass Pyrex measuring cup, put a little over a cup of water in it, and I set the microwave for five minutes. What this does is it steams the inside of the microwave. So all that funky dunky stuff that's stuck on the wall, that comes off easily. Now, when it's done, give it a minute and take your hot hands or a towel to remove everything because it's going to be very hot. But when you start to clean, it wipes off easily. The steam has loosened up all that nasty crud inside of the microwave so that it wipes off with ease. Next is going to be your pet area too. And this is where Pepper eats her meals. She loves eating as you can tell, but I see a lot of stuff is all over. So we need to clean this for her. So I'm gonna take all of her bowls. She has a dry food, a water ball and a wet food. I'm also going to take her mat and clean it off really well. Pepper has definitely been our little emotional support decluttering kitty, always by our side. So I want to make sure that we're taking good care of her area because she was like, where is my foodie foodie spot? So I made sure that I put it back together right away. We're also going to continue on the fly lady checklist to wipe down the walls, especially the high traffic ones because you don't realize how dirty they get. Like after really like watching the video and scrubbing this down, you don't realize how nasty they get. But that's okay because we're cleaning them now. And my Tyler is now home from school. So he's going to help mommy wipe down all the cabinets. That's another thing that is on the fly lady checklist. And having Tyler with me as we clean is just another positive reinforcement of cleaning. We don't have to be scared of cleaning anymore because we're working through those past traumas. We released a lot of those emotions. So now it's not as scary to declutter and it's not as scary to clean. A matter of fact, I do enjoy doing it a lot because I feel like I'm releasing a lot of anxiety and stress which is so therapeutic, especially with the holidays right around the corner. Getting all this deep cleaning done now is so much relief to my soul because now the kitchen looks a thousand percent better. Now, in this episode, did we complete all of the tasks on her list? No, but we got a lot of the main ones done. And that is such a relief in my heart because I don't have to rush and do this the night before Thanksgiving. I'm so happy with how this came out. This looks amazing. And it makes me want to continue decluttering and cleaning and reinforcing my nervous system that this is safe. I never wanna go back. I don't want to go back 
to hoarding. You do get to this space where you're just grateful that you can have a completely open floor. That was not my norm for the longest time. And look, Pepper's Foodie Foodie Spot is looking really, really good. So we're maintaining as well because I want to show you Pepper's Corner. This spot was always hoarding. I could never keep it clean. And now since we made it Pepper's Corner with all of her food, it stayed clean. It has not been rehoarded. Now, Pepper does get half a can, so she already ate, ate half a can earlier, and then she gets half a can for dinner. But I'm just so proud that we're able to clean and maintain these spots, and now I'm really going to enjoy Thanksgiving. And my hope and my prayer is that this video motivated and encouraged you to declutter and clean something in your home today too.